welcome back for another video. In this video, I am going to show you guys our chore and money system that we use with our nine-year-old. Um, we just started this system about a month ago. It has had its ups and its downs, but I like the system and we're sticking to it. I don't have a resource of where I got the system from because I researched so many different things and ideas. I found things similar to this. I have kind of incorporated my own things into this and it's really just a system that we're finding works for us. Um, our nine-year-old is kind of at the point he's going to be 10 in a few months and we feel like he needs to start learning some money management skills um, the importance of, per, per, oh my goodness, the importance of saving his money for things that he really wants, putting priorities on what he really wants to do and what he wants to have. Um, and also starting to learn that not everything is free in life and you need to put some work into getting what you need or getting what you want. Um, so we have been doing this system, like I said, for about a month. The first week, he was here and we did this. It was really rocky for him. Um, he really struggled um, with it. Now this last week, which was the second full week that we've done this with him here, um, he did a lot better. His attitude was a lot better about things. Um, he actually did things to earn more money. So um, he has all of that. One of the biggest things right now that we're seeing in him that also um, kind of goes into some of this is that we're having some, not necessarily behavior issues, but just um, attitude issues, I guess. If he, if we aren't doing what he wants to do, he has a bad attitude about it and he just sulks and pouts and um, it doesn't really um, stop us from doing what we want to do. In fact, it doesn't stop us from doing what we want to do, but it kind of ruins the mood and the atmosphere for everybody else. So we want to reward him also um, for having a better attitude about things because that's really what we're struggling with right now with him um, as well as being a good listener. So, and not challenging, not challenging our authority, I guess. When we tell him to do something, we get a lot of like, why? I don't want to, and complaining. And I know a lot of that is behavioral. I know it adds into the factor that he has to go back and forth between houses. I know that he wants to be um, a lot more grown up and a lot more um, deciding on what he does in life than what he really is. Um, he wants to have more um, luxuries in life than what his age we feel is appropriate for him. So um, those are all of the kind of things that we're dealing with. And like I said, I know a lot of that is age appropriate. Um, so we're just trying to come up, up with a way to deal with all of this positively. And like I said, this has been working for us. All right. So my husband and I came up with this list of chores and I made it so nice and he printed it out and then I was like, oh, hey, there's a few more chores we could add to this list. So we, I typed this up on the computer, I laminated it. This hangs, hangs on our refrigerator. So throughout the day, our kiddo can do these things on the list um, and get paid. So when I say he gets paid, he doesn't get paid real money for this. We, I made these um, dollars and he gets paid in this fake money. Then he can then turn around and use that fake money to buy rewards. So let's go through the shorts first. So he gets $30 if he cleans the toilet. Um, and then feeding the cats, making your bed neatly, feeding the dog at four o'clock and bring down your water cup are all things, um, those are all $5 chores. Those are all things he does almost on a daily basis anyway. They're things that really don't take any effort. Those are things that we've always just had him do. So now we're kind of rewarding him for doing those things without us having to tell him to do them. Um, bringing down your dirty laundry, keeping your room clean, and washing the dishes, and taking out the trash are all $10 chores. We only let him wash the dishes at breakfast because there's not a lot of dishes then. And generally there's not like, um, like my pots and pans and all that kind of stuff. Stuff We feel it's a little more manageable. 
<coughs> um, for him in our small kitchen and everything else. Um, we've never really asked him to do chores like that before. And so we kind of felt like just breakfast dishes was a good place to start. Also, um, I'll be honest, my husband is a little OCD in how the dishes are cleaned. So, um, generally my husband or I do the dishes. Um, and then he has vacuuming the living room or mopping the floor for $20. Cleaning up dog poop is $40. And then we have being a first time listener all day for $60. And basically what that means is that he follows directions all day long without having to be told several times to do something or to stop doing something. Um, and without asking why. Um, being kind to everyone in our house is $100. This got on here because we have been struggling with him um, on occasion with his interactions with our other kiddo, sometimes with us um, as well. And so um, being kind to everyone made it on this list. And so he has to do it all day long. Um, being a first time listener and being a first time listener and this next one is a whole day with no complaining or pouting are um, money he gets. He doesn't get that money until he goes to bed. So that is money he would get then the next morning when he gets up for the day before being kind to everyone in the house. Uh, basically, after he takes a shower, if he's done that all day long, then we give him the money for that. And so these are just kind of the chores we've come up with. And then this is, like I said, the money that he gets. Um, I printed off a whole bunch of these that I made on the computer, laminated them, and they are in a spot in our kitchen for us to give him um, this. I think he's done pretty much every chore on this list except for cleaning the toilet. Um, but some days he doesn't do any chores and then... Um, he finds out about it later. That's for sure. So then this is also our list that hangs on the refrigerator um, that he uses his money on to spend then. Um, so he can have an extra dessert at dinner for $20. He can have one hour of iPad time for $100. We already limit his iPad time to one hour after dinner, after his shower a day, and that's it. Uh, we do not let him have iPad any other time. If he were to have $500, he could get a $5 bill. $40 for crafting time. He loves to craft. Normally, I don't care if he sits at the table and colors or does something, but crafting to him is like pulling out every um, bit of crafting supplies that we have, and it makes a really big mess. And so he has to pay to do that. Um, also, we have a trip to buy a $10 toy at the store for $1,000. He has a couple things that he's been asking for a lot, and we keep telling him, no, we're not going to get them for you. So right now, we thought maybe this was a good time to do that. Um, a bike ride on our nighttime walk is $20. We go for a walk pretty much every single night. He hates going for a walk. He hates walking in general. And so we told him that he could spend some of his money and then he could ride his bike while we go on our walk or his scooter. Um, he's been asking if he could ride his scooter a lot lately instead. Um, for $60, he could stay home during our youngest kiddo's therapy appointment. We have not done this yet. He has stayed home at his mom's house for a little bit. He has stayed home alone here for maybe five or 10 minutes while I ran to drop something off at my mom's house quick. Um, because she lives right down the road. Um, but he has not stayed home alone during a therapy appointment yet. Um, and we just started going back to therapy really recently. Um, $60 to take a trip to get an ice cream. $20 he can have an extra 15 minutes on his iPad. Um, for $200 he can have a night with just dad. And he did this the other night, he um, went out for dinner, and out for dinner means through the drive through because that's all there is right now, and eating in the car. Um, so he did do that recently. Um, for $80, he can pick what we have for dinner tomorrow night. Um, this one made our list because he's a really picky eater. We struggle with eating with him and eating things that we make. I am of the belief that you make that you eat what I make for dinner. I'm not going to make something different for you. 
and if you don't want it then um, I guess you won't have anything till breakfast tomorrow morning now I know I get a lot of grief for that but at the same time I don't make a whole entire meal that I know he won't eat um, so if I know we're having chicken for dinner which he's not crazy about chicken I will make sure that we have sides that go along with the chicken that I know he'll like so maybe we'll have pasta with the chicken that night or we'll have vegetables and fruit that I know he likes and so I don't serve him a whole entire plate full of food that I know he doesn't like um, and then $50 for one hour of TV time uh, I since we've been home with COVID have been working really hard on not having the TV on during the so um, we used to have the TV on all the time and I haven't been doing that. Our youngest gets to have TV time when he first wakes up in the morning because he gets up extremely early and it's the only way to keep him quiet. So he gets TV time then, but then the TV's off for the rest of the rest of the day, usually until the evening time, either when I'm making dinner, if my husband's busy with something else, or sometimes for a little bit after dinner, um, we'll let our youngest watch uh, a show or two. Um, but we really try, or I really try, to not have the TV on during the day for them. Um, so those are just kind of um, our system. Like I said, it has been working. The first week, he didn't really do any chores, and then he had a really bad attitude because he didn't have time to play on the iPad, and it was really just kind of a learning curve for him. And we really struggled the first week and I thought, oh, well, this probably isn't going to work. But then this last week when he came back, he was like, I need to do chores so that I can have iPad time and all the other things that I want to do. We also made a deal with him um, on the refrigerator. We have a piece of paper and it's called his savings account and he can give us money. Um, hello. Um, he can give us money at any time to put in his savings account so he doesn't spend it so last week he did give me <clears throat> i was just interrupted by my pint size little guy here um so last week he did give me Mama, talking almost last week he did give me fifty dollars okay just one minute he gave me fifty dollars to put in his savings account he's working really hard um he really wants to get that ten dollar Toy from the store but um, he has a really hard time saving his money um, other things are just not as important to him I guess if you have any questions or comments feel free to comment below if you have any questions about our chore system um, feel free to ask otherwise I will see you guys next time bye